What's going on guys? Today we're going to check out if sodium makes a huge difference when you're playing with Zaleth Launcher because a lot of people say sodium helps with performance and some people say it doesn't really do anything. So today we are going to basically install a version of Minecraft and then we are going to see if sodium with fabric mods that is actually makes a huge difference so the first thing we're gonna do here guys is we're basically going to just you know install some sodium we're gonna install some other mods like entity culling and we are going to just enjoy seeing what happens when we install sodium on our device so the first thing we're going to do here is we're going to install some fabric and yes i had a problem for a second there i don't know why uh where is the keyboard i don't know there it is right there and this is just going to be called the sodium test okay and the reason for this is just again a lot of people just like to use sodium they think sodium is going to change and fix everything and honestly sodium doesn't really fix if your device is really low end the device i'm using here guys has a snapdragon 865 the device is also called the retroid pocket 5 you can get these on amazon they're a pretty good device I might say the least but honestly if you wanted to get something to play some Android games this is the device for you now the next thing I'm gonna do is go over to that sodium test mod that pack that I created and I'm just gonna download a mod called FPS display from Modrinth. And if you don't know how to do this kind of stuff, guys, I shared a video about fabric mods, and I highly recommend you to go check those out. Now, if you want to watch that video, hit that subscribe button, go check it out in the playlist, and you'll be able to enjoy just basically watching me set up stuff for you guys so you can understand how to set it up too now i'm going to download the mod menu as well this is kind of a you know guide in a sense i'm just going to follow the prompts as you can see here it tells me exactly what i need which is really cool about Zaleth launcher now i'm going to download that fps display and be on my merry way to see if this makes a huge difference so the first thing i'm going to do with this test is just basically load this game save and then i'm going to recreate the game save again so that it kind of gets the same kind of you know startup and everything and then we can basically confirm if sodium really does help the other thing i'm going to do is just basically set my render distance to about seven render distance and start from there and then we will basically check out what kind of fps we're getting with sodium and then without sodium at the same time so let's go to our options our video settings i'm going to go to seven my simulation distance i'm going to set it to 12 and i'm going to leave my max frame rate to unlimited my graphics to fancy and my clouds to fast and my particles decrease my view bobbing is going to be on my v-sync off my smooth lighting off and i think i'm going to leave my entity distance to 75 percent and then i think that is maybe about it you could change your biome blend to about three by three that does help quite a bit and that is very good for like lower end devices now again here guys this is just to show like what kind of performance we can expect so what i'm going to do is just basically go to difficulty hard with survival and then i'm going to you know just run around and just check out the fps and we will be able to see if it really makes a world of difference now we can see the fps on the bottom left hand side as well with the actual zealoth launcher and on the top left hand side we can see that our fps is kind of loading in and again this also depends on if we have a bunch of you know other mods and other stuff that is loading in while we're trying to get this to work 
I'm also not using my screen recorder with this one. I'm plugged into a external capture card device that actually allows me to stream this to my computer that is recording this right now. And this is allowing me to just basically see what kind of FPS we are going to get. Now, I have my resolution scale set and everything already, and I don't remember what it's set to. It's set to 40%. So, 232 FPS at around this spot right here is pretty darn good, I would say. Now, 245, 250, yeah, it's going to fluctuate. But again, this is just without anything going on. No mobs around us. There might be some mobs that are kind of in there. There's some right there. And yeah, we can just basically run over here, say hello to some fancy sheep, and still see that we're getting about 250 to 275 FPS. Now let's find ourselves a sweet spot maybe to try to remember where we were, like maybe on this random tree right here. And this will be the tree where we just basically jump over to again to see if that FPS changes when we end up installing sodium. So what I'm going to do is go save quit to title, quit game, and then go back into Zaleth Launcher. Now what I'm going to do now is I'm going to download some important mods like sodium for example obviously and then I'm going to download cloth config and a whole bunch of other mods that usually help with actually rendering your device. Now now again here guys this is just basically a cool little test I thought of over the weekend and yeah I like to try to post some videos on this channel just because I thought it would be cool to share some stuff about this awesome awesome launcher called Zaleth Launcher that allows you to play your Java Minecraft account from Minecraft.net on your Android phone or your Android gaming handheld. It's so freaking cool that we can do this guys because honestly the fact that we can play Java Minecraft with our legally owned copy of Java Minecraft is just so awesome to be able to do so and I hope that this is something that continues on for a long time time now I'm gonna make sure I select the right version here and search it out because I don't want to see mods that aren't compatible like indium for example I'm gonna download dynamic FPS I'm going to download what was the other one more calling I think I like collective as well and the reason why collective is good is just because it's going to be some other mods that I like to use so more calling does help as well and let's see if there's anything else. Uh, I'm not going to do any like Lambian dynamic lights because that will render the actual FPS slower and stuff. So I'm just going to leave it at that and kind of keep it as simple as possible. Now, some people say the modern fix does help too. And I've never really, really, really found it helpful. But I'm going to download it for the sake of this video and see what happens when we use it. And then we are going to launch the game after it's actually downloaded into our mods folder. Now, I hope that doesn't mess anything up because Modern Fix, I guess, is maybe like four megabytes or something. I don't really know. However, this is just a test once again, just to see if sodium and not sodium work better or not. I think that's kind of a weird way to say it, but honestly, that's basically what we're doing here is just to see if sodium actually really makes a huge difference. And if it doesn't, it will be something that you can just decide if it is helpful for you. Now, of course, sodium is going to do a little bit of a performance boost and help with rendering stuff here, guys. But I think that if your device is still a really low end device, it might not even be worth it for you to even try to mess with anything like this because it might not even be helpful at all. Now, as you can see here, guys, I am usually not setting anything else up because everything is still here now I can turn off entity shadows because that does help with rendering a lot and that is something that we couldn't turn off before advanced let's go to more culling and you could change things with your culling range and all that kind of stuff as well but you don't really need to touch much else and you could actually turn on and off the FPS counter but I'm gonna leave the regular FPS display on and click apply and click done now I'm gonna go to single player I'm gonna select this world and then I'm going to recreate this world because I want it to just render everything back in again and make it basically a brand new world once again and we're going to see how fast it loads into the game we're going to see how fast it starts catching up and see if it actually gets past that 200 and 230 fps 
that we were getting when we were using just basic Minecraft or vanilla Minecraft or even Minecraft without mods because when we weren't using mods it was still getting a decent amount of FPS which is pretty good at 7 render distance. Now let's see how fast this boosts up and see if it helps with performance whatsoever or at all as you can see on the top left hand side with sodium installed we are still getting an average of let's see here 244 are we getting anything higher than this guys 267 300 and yeah we're getting a little bit more fps but is it really enough to justify you know installing sodium and basically seeing if it is more performant or better or anything to say the least like is it really 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 that much of a difference where was that tree that we said we were going to go to i think it was over here now do we have any sheep that loaded in this time again this is the same exact world we just basically re-rendered it just to check it out and we'll see if those sheep actually load in again or if that's just something that maybe just luckily happened for us when i was talking about any of the mobs but as you can see here 351 fps 360 fps is this rendering a lot faster maybe it is I, I don't know. What do you guys think? Do you think sodium is worth it? Do you think sodium is better? Do you think sodium actually does help? I guess we're getting about 100 more FPS right now. And if we go over to that one spot that I said with that random tree, where was it? Let's see if we can get to it. It was like all the way over here, I think. Maybe not. I don't know. <laughs> there it is right here. Oh, that that's the tree, I think, right here. Was this the tree? I, I don't remember exactly, guys. But honestly, I think we're getting almost... Maybe a hundred. Oh, maybe that's the tree right there. If that's the tree right there, then put a comment that I put the wrong tree. But there we go, guys. That is basically it. I think maybe we are getting a little bit more performance is the stuttering gone away i think so too but again that is all up to what you guys decide because yeah we were able to turn off the entity shadows that does actually help a bit especially if you have a lot of mobs in the area oh this is the tree right here pretty sure this was it this was the exact same tree i do remember this hole right there and this tree and what are we getting with this one let's compare it on screen right now we are getting 330 something fps where i think we were still getting about 230 fps without sodium so yeah maybe sodium is doing its job and it is working well and it is pretty stable i use sodium quite a bit hey look i'm getting like 500 plus fps while digging down into this tree so yeah that's pretty cool guys have a nice day i want to hear what you guys have to say about sodium versus not sodium don't forget to subscribe and share if you want to teach other people how to use Zaleth Launcher. Bye!